everybody to, to breathe in deep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of hold it for a minute and let out. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, wow, walking into the room and seeing Patty there and seeing all the, the crystal ball and the crystals and all the oils and the, the sage burning in the room. Uh, I would say that my heart started beating a little bit faster. I mean, walk into the back room and it's like a scene out of ghosts. I mean, there's candles everywhere. There's uh, smoke. It's a seance, and I've never, ever experienced anything like this. It's kind of a strange experience, to be honest with you. Calling all spirits of the East, the powers of air, the energies of intel intelligence, of knowing, of the power to know. Uh, I was raised Southern Baptist, so that's like the devil's business. I am a practicing witch. I've been doing this, uh, practicing witch for over 20 years, but I've been holding seances since I was about seven. Just something I'm able to do. The veil between the worlds is very thin with me. Um, you ride a broom? Yeah, yes, only on full moons. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, or house cleansing. This is a whole You thing. were wondering that too. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> I was like trying to keep it up with mine. I wanted to see something. I don't want to see a little girl come in, a spirit or something. I'm feeling a presence directly behind me towards my left side. And one of you is feeling something. I was really shocked at how serious the guys were. I mean, you know, Cap, I would have thought he would have gone, <laughs> you know, I was just waiting any second to hear that. Yeah, I was surprised, especially when we had to hold hands and do the chant. <laughs> One thing did freak me out when uh, the lady in charge of the seance, she was, you know, going up and down with her voice. I'm trying to go with her. I didn't know where it was going. It was kind of, I don't know, it was a weird energy. And that was the only part that freaked me out, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised that, that, I was surprised that Cap was a little scared. He was actually scared. You could see it in his eyes. I sat directly across from him, but I could see in his eyes that, he was a little nervous, a little bead of sweat up on his forehead. I think that the family would be happy to hear that the ghost they have in their house is looking out for them. I think they sort of sense that anyway. You know, and so now that I've heard this from her and, and how on the mark she was about this family, I'm gonna respect all that.